Hey everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Powerpuff Girls 2, where we will be taking on Night 3 in this video. Before I get started, I just want to give you all an update. Um, I apologize if I haven't been uploading as much videos lately. It's because I've, one, I was on vacation in Aruba, so I couldn't do it for a week, and two, even after I got back from Aruba, I couldn't upload videos on certain days because... I was just busy with life, that's all. But, I'll try to get more videos out as often as I can, I'll try to. So yeah, just thought I'd give an update. But anyways, without further ado, we will take on Night 3. Let's see what else I have for us. And I'm under the impression we're going to be dealing with Butch for Night 3. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling. Okay. Sorry, I'm fixing my camera. Here we go. Kind of forgetting about the mechanics because I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm kind of just. I kind of forgot what to do for a second. Boomer. Oh, wait, Butch! Okay. Damn it. Okay, so apparently. Alright. So, Butch works the same as Boomer, where if you hear him running, you have to hide under the bed, so, apparently I didn't hear Butch in time, okay, I mean Boomer, sorry. So yeah, and I gotta fix my camera, I do apologize, I had it zoomed out for a second because I wanted to show the full, full menu screen of the title because it doesn't show it, I do apologize for that, but anyways, I gotta get back in the rhythm of this game. Cause it's been a while since I played it, so I gotta get back in the room. Okay. As the next genius says in his videos, gotta get back in the rhythm of things. Okay, so just like with Boomer, if we hear Butch running, we have to hide under the bed because Boomer works, Butch works the same as Boomer. What? Wait. So Blossom's gonna be in the room too, apparently? That's really weird. Okay, Boomer. Damn it, I got killed by Boomer. Gr I mean, Butch, sorry. Jesus, this night is stressful. Because I'm not only dealing with Boomers running, but I'm also dealing with Butch running at the same time. How am I going to know when Butch comes aside from the running? And apparently Blossom comes in the room too. So apparently when Blossom, when you hear her walking, you have to, we have to stay under the bed till she leaves. I thought she only came after your sanity bar went down. Okay. I'm going to need a really good strategy for night three. Because this is apparently stressful. Boomer, okay. <clears throat> Butch, and now Blossom. And now I gotta deal with Brick. Great. Okay, I can wait for Brick. Right now I gotta deal with Bubbles and Buttercup. Oh, hi, Boomer. Yep, okay. Am I done being triple teams? Thank you.
Buttercup. Jesus, this night is stressful. Okay. So I'm going to do Bubbles first, then Buttercup, then Butch, while I'm listening for Butch, Boomer, and Blossom. Because apparently for night three, Blossom starts to enter the room when you're hiding under the bed. Like, she doesn't just kill you, apparently, when the sanity bar is empty. Weird. Okay. Because we've got to keep that sandy bar as full as possible. It's not going to be easy to. Uh, I should have got to Bob, blah, I mean Buttercup before dealing, after dealing with Brick, I mean Buttercup for, a, I mean Brick for a second. God, I'm sorry I'm stuttering. It's been a while since I played this game, and and now I'm having trouble remembering the characters apparently. Okay, so I, I should have just dealt with Brick for only two seconds. <laughs> okay. I gotta shake the rust off of me. I'm already dead no matter what, anyways. God, the sanity bar goes down too fast. I gotta watch Taste Gaming and the Next Geniuses Night 2 so I can get a perspective. I mean, sorry, Night 3. I'm gonna watch their Night 3 video so I can get a perspective on how to do this because this is really stressful. Okay. Alright, so after I do this video, I'll check out the next Genius and Taste Gaming's Night 3 gameplay so that I can get a perspective on how to do it because... Uh, 